Welcome to a very realistic day in my life, completing my 200-hour yoga teacher training in Rishikesh, India, where the days would start at 6.30 a.m. and go on until about 7.30 or 8.30 p.m. I would wake up every morning around 5.50 to make it to the first class at 6.30. So we just finished Ashtanga. That was intense. This was the OOTD. It's so hot and I'm so sweaty and I really only have five minutes to get to Korea, which is the nose washing. So I'm gonna start trying to take a speed shower. I'm still contemplating if I should shower or not. I don't know, I kind of want to. I really sweat a lot in today's session. It was definitely a workout, but I was like super focused and I was keeping the ujjayi breath, which is when you have the throat lock, 10%, 30%, like. That's the, the ujjayi breath. Okay, just got changed. I'm now we're gonna do Kriya, which is like the cleaning of the nose. So let's go. So after Ashtanga, we would do Kriya before we do Pranayama. Kriya is basically cleansing, and we would do it with the Jalaneti, which is when you pour the water in through one nostril and it comes out the other side, or the Sutraneti, which is when you put a string up your nose and it comes out of your mouth. And this was definitely unfamiliar to me and to all of us when we first started doing it but over time it became a little more natural <laughs> like stuck. the nose is closed hands but you were able to do it the other day i did it a bunch of times so try it again stop what happened? Why are you not stuck? doing it? <laughs> oh, guys. It's like your nose. No. Maybe I have a deviated septum. You too. do not have a deviated septum. <laughs> Don't do that on my nose. <laughs> Show us your boogers. <laughs> Were you able to do it, Martha? currently 11.38, we had it from 10.15. So that was the first session of yin yoga. Until now we were doing anatomy, and now I switched to yin yoga. I'm going to eat, so I got my plate, and we got like brunch. Let's go. I got really sleepy doing the yin yoga, so now I'm just ready to eat and take a nap. <laughs> The food there was definitely like one of my favorite things. They fed us twice a day and the meals were completely vegan. They were so delicious, but it was cool that we had our own plates that we would clean ourselves and keep in our room so that nobody else would be having to clean up after us. my plate off and I'm gonna go take a nap my room is messy as you can tell so I think I'm just gonna nap and then clean my room and then I'm gonna go over some of the notes that I missed today I wasn't paying that much attention 
So I need to just like get some notes from some people. Space, which is basically like a Jewish philosophy book. I went to the bookstore yesterday. Over here, and I got this one and this one. And I think I'm just gonna read some of this and journal. And then, nah. Earlier I took this, which is Chaiwan Prosh, which I got recommended to me by an Ayurveda specialist when I did a one-on-one -on -one consultation and it actually tastes really good. I really like it. But I've been taking this on an empty stomach every morning and then I sometimes take my supplements which is this Digestiva Triphala which has Amla for digestive health, probiotic, vitamin C. But I stopped taking this since I'm taking the, the jam because the jam has a lot of vitamin C. So let's take it. I'm really sweating out here. It's kind of hard to take a nap in this heat. Well, I just woke up. It's 2.37, which means I have class in like 20 minutes. Um, I was supposed to wake up at two, so I overslept a little bit, but I definitely needed it. I really had other things I needed to get done, but I'm just gonna try to clean my room really quick. See if there's tea because we usually have tea at 2:30. And then we have Ayurveda at 3, which I'm super excited for. I'm so pumped. I love learning about Ayurveda. So let's go. properly go properly touch your back with a bow then lift up it's so the first level it's the butterfly and rest your knees down it's the bird for us and lying down yes
It's currently 7.02. Um, I'm gonna, about to head to dinner, but basically, I think for my last update after that, I did the Ayurveda class, which I was very tired in. And I, like, I think I actually fell asleep in the class, which I didn't like because, you know, I was very, very tired. And then after the Ayurveda class, we had a half hour break and I just was sleeping on my mat in the yoga room. And then we had, um, we usually have Hatha yoga after at five. We had uh, Osho meditation, which was basically like an aesthetic dance kind of thing that I never do that. And it was actually like very empowering. I don't know, like it was very something I felt like I was facing a fear because we had to just close our eyes and just dance to the music and like move. And at first I was very conscious of the fact that there were people in the room and I was very conscious of like the way I was moving and if I was moving right and all this random stuff. And then we just gotta let it go and let it flow. And that's what we did. So let's go get dinner. <laughs> Time to fuel the body. This has been like my night routine with the fan in my face because I'm hot. I journal. <laughs>